Hello, my name is Arthur Griffith and I have some Java for you. In fact, I have a lot of Java for you. This virtual training company course covers Java from the very beginning. That is, if you have never programmed before, this course contains all the information you'll need to get started writing programs in Java. On the other hand, if you have programming experience, this course can be used as a way into the Java programming language. Now this is very much a hands-on tutorial. I will show you exactly how to write programs and how to make them run. You're going to find that the fundamental mechanism of writing Java programs is quite simple. If you've never programmed before, this is a good place to start because I'll be covering every detail. Maybe I should tell you a little bit about me and a little bit about this course. I started programming in Dallas, Texas in the mid-70s. The first project I found myself on was the development of a programming language. I enjoyed doing that and I did that kind of work for over 20 years. I programmed professionally in 26 languages and I've written compilers or interpreters for six. A few years back I switched to writing so naturally I wrote about programming languages. I've written three books on Java and some others on other kinds of programming. I genuinely like Java. Of all the languages I've worked with I like Java best but don't misunderstand me. This is not a course on how wonderful Java is. I'm not going to try to sell you on the language. All I'm going to do is show you how it works. You'll need to decide for yourself whether you like it. But I promise you this. If you stay with me for the full eight hours of this course, you'll come out of the other side knowing how to write Java programs. Now this means there won't be a lot of theory. I'll be showing you exactly how to do things, but I won't necessarily be able to go into the underlying details of just why it works the way it does. This is a practical sort of how-to course. That doesn't mean that I'm going to leave you with mysterious questions. It just means that I will go no deeper than necessary to get things done. That's the only way I'll be able to get you to the point that you can write anything you like in the Java programming language. Before I start, let me explain one problem that comes up in learning a new programming language. Every part of the language depends on other parts of the language. So when I describe one piece of it, the description depends on the other pieces. It's sort of like describing a merry-go-round, one horse at a time. Every time it's necessary to describe a horse, it has to be done in terms of the horses in front of it and behind it. This means that sometimes I'll have to refer to horses that you haven't met yet. I know this will bring up questions in your mind, but if you bear with me long enough, I'll get to all the horses and the mysterious parts will disappear. I'll try not to talk about unknown horses too much, but I promise you that I will not leave out the description of a single horse. Eventually, I will show you an example of every one of them.